Would you like to learn something new about content creation? Some tips and tricks of the trade? Well, stay tuned to this week's interview episode with Sarah Schwab, the content creation coach. Hi, this is Karma Spence, and this week I'm going to be treating you to my interview with the content creation coach, Sarah Schwab. We talked for over 20 minutes, so I'm breaking this down into more bite-sized pieces, and I'll be airing them each day. So definitely check this out and come back tomorrow. Today's guest is Sarah Schwab. She's the founder and president of Content Creation Coach and the author of the Amazon best-selling book, Content that dances. Sarah believes that marketing and business are all about relationships. She helps her clients use content to identify and build relationships with lots of ideal people. Sarah has developed a unique way of understanding how a content marketing strategy works and how to use it to build an effective online platform for your business. Sarah's created hundreds of blog articles, produced videos, teleseminars, webinars, ebooks, and more. Please join me in welcoming the content creation coach, Sarah Schwab. Oh, thank you, Carmen. It's fantastic to be here. So I want to kind of get an idea about who you are and what you do. If you could just give a short, the journey to being the content creation coach. Absolutely. So as you said, my name is Sarah Schwab. I am based in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and my business is called Content Creation Coach. Now, when I first started my business, I I was in the field of marketing. I was doing digital marketing. I was kind of doing whatever people were coming and asking me, can you do this? Can you help me out? And I found this gap. I call it the content gap between the stuff that people know that they're doing and lots of people out there to help like social media and website development and, you know, online digital advertising and things like that. And content, those people often say, we need content. We need your content. What's the content? And they sometimes don't help figure out what that is. And the business owner doesn't always know what that is. And I decided that's what I do. I love the creative side of creating content. It's about relationships. We're going to talk about all sorts of cool things about it. And I thought there is a need out there to help people create content so that they can be successful at sharing it and marketing themselves. On the topic of content, you know, it's an old adage, content is king. But then you see some people, at least recently, I've been seeing people say, oh, well, content isn't that important. You just get people in, in other ways. And then there's people all in between. Where sure. What are your thoughts on that whole, I guess, debate? Sure, absolutely. I am obviously on the side of content is king. I think the internet and the reaction of of people in terms of how they search, what they read, what they look for, the amount of content that we take in has you know, multiplied in recent years. It's really what people engage with online. There are situations, especially when it comes to products, where really good digital marketers have figured out formulas and you click on this thing and you watch this video, you see this product and it's 20 bucks and then you buy it. Fine. That's fine. My clients, the people I work with, and I think a lot of us out there, we're not selling $20 widgets. We're Mm -hmm. selling services. We are selling our own work, our expertise, you know, packages that are much more involved than that, that people aren't going to buy unless they know you and like you and trust you and build that, that relationship with you and figure out that's the right fit. This is the person. And that's when content is really, really critical. And for me, that's never going to go away. If you want to be building the relationship so that when people come to you the way you kind of came to me, Carmen, and said, you know, I love your stuff. I, I love your approach. I read your blog or I have your book or whatever it is. I think you're great. I want to work with you. That is the power of content. So how do you build relationships with content? And because it's just there, you're not interacting necessarily. I hope you enjoyed today's segment of my interview with Sarah. Please come back tomorrow for the next installment. And if you enjoyed the content in today's video, give it a thumbs up on YouTube. I'd love it. In fact, I'd appreciate it. And of course, always remember to think outside the box, spread your wings and fly, because you, yes, you right there, 
are capable of more than you know. And hopefully today's video helped you get that much closer to doing that more.